Hi y'all, today we're going to do a simple morph transition. This is a viewer's request, so let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. So just to save time, I am going to go into my projects. I have, if you go into designs, you can go in and pick a design and I can import that page over and it'll have everything that was on my page. So just for ease, because I made my faux logo. So what you're going to do is take your faux logo add it to your design and kind of put it up in the corner like so. The other thing you're going to do, I'm going to ungroup these so you can see what I did. So I had my, you'll have your brand name, whatever text you want. And then what you're going to put right here, I'm going to turn the transparency up so you can see is I put a square, regular old square. We'll delete this one so I can show you. I took a square like so, put it over here. Turn the transparency down. And then I went into position. I grabbed my square. And I'm going to hit my control key, hit the other two. So that's all my text. And I grouped them together. The reason why is because I'm going to pull that off the page. And I need some of my pages to be on here. The other thing you can do is just hit enter and have space above it. It's another trick you can do. But the pull tab is just as easy. I call them pull tabs now. So... What we'll do is get rid of this so you can we can ungroup these and delete these so you can see what we're doing. So we'll prep our products. So I have three products here. I'm going to ungroup this one to show you how, what I did. So I'm going to ungroup and I am going to delete that part. So what I did because I'm going to pull these off the page is all I did was duplicate my product, bring it up like so, turn the top one down, the transparency all the way down and then I'm going to grab its friend up here I'm going to hit my control highlight the two and group those two together all of these are the same like that as you can see there's the second one that's transparent on top why so we can have we can pull it off the page with keeping some on the page and not lose it so if you pull it all the way off the page if you look over on the other side you'll see it disappear and it's gone so let's go back and get our lipstick back. Let's do back twice and bring it back over. Here we go. So now we have all three of our lipsticks ready. What I'm going to do is go back to elements. I'm going to grab a circle. Whatever color you scheme you want to do. And then you make the circle as big as you want to. You make it. Whatever you want. Whatever size you want to make it. And then all you're going to do is place these. We're going to go into position. And then we're going to put our circle all the way to the back. Or you can click here and click layers and do that also. Then you're just going to align your products. How many ever you have. Three, four, five. It doesn't matter. Um, you can size them if you need to size them differently so they all fit. So if you have like four, five, six, seven products and you need to make them smaller. Then you can just go ahead and do that and make them smaller. Line them up how you want to in here. And then another thing you can do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit like so. I am going to go in here and I'm going to change the color to this black and white, gray and white, excuse me, gray and white. And then what I want to do is go in here. I'm going to put it on top of here first because I want to be able to see what I'm doing here. So once I go into my gradient, I'm going to change it to that orientation. I'm going to put my white on the top. I'm going to take my gray and I am going to turn the transparency down almost to like 20. So I'm going to turn it down real, real far down. And then I'm going to take my white and I'm going to turn the transparency down maybe to about 80 in that range. So what it looks like now is a little frosted, frosted text box. And then what I'm going to do is add some text to it. And I'm going to put new summer colors. And I want it to go here. I'm going to change that to white. We're going to be able to see it in a second. I'm going to get it down and then fit it to how I want it in my text box. Like so, and then what I'm going to do is go, I'm going to grab another square because I need a pull tab for that because I want to pull it off to the side when I make them bigger. 
So I'm going to go and get a new text box. I am going to turn down the transparency. I am going to go into position. I'm going to grab, I'm going to hit my control key. I'm going to grab the new summer colors and I'm going to, yeah. And I'm going to control, control. I am going to grab the box. I don't know. I can't speak very well. And I'm going to group them together. So now I can pull that off when I want to. So now I have my first page set up. Now we're ready to do some rocking and rolling. So just put that wherever you want to. You can put it up, down, wherever you need to do if you want to use that option and put some text here. And you don't even need to do that if you don't want to. So now I'm going to duplicate this page and we're going to do some movement. So I want to take this down. I want to reduce the size of my logo. And then I'm going to bring my text up like so. And then I'm going to move my logo right over top of it. Let's kind of group those together a little bit and just highlight them and bring them up kind of into the center. And if you want it bigger, you can make it bigger. If you like, well, I want that bigger. We can make it bigger. And then turn this bigger. It's up to you what size you want to make that. And then we're going to got that place there. What you want to do now is you want to move your colors off, your new summer colors off. You want to take your lipsticks down and you want to kind of angle them when you do. So I'm going to reduce this so we can see. And let's get this out of the way so we can have a little more sight line. So let's make that smaller. And if you want to just kind of like angle them a little bit. So when they come up, they're going to be like, making some cool little moves when they come up. Now, if you want to, too, the other thing you can do is grab, um, you can have them all come down at first, or you can just go ahead and have your first product come up. So what we can do is bring our first product up, give it a little spin, take our, Circle, you can actually make your circle larger if you want to. You can make it smaller. You can do whatever you want. It's just whatever style you want to. You can make these as big as you want. And I can see a little bit of lipstick right there. Hey, move out the way. So let's grab this one and pull it off a little bit more. And that would be your first slide. Now, if you want to just pull all, all your lipsticks off and just have your circle there for the minute while this comes up, just add an extra slide and pull all, all your products off. If you want to do that, that's up to you. So I got that in. Oh, we're going to duplicate our slide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this one. Kind of spin that back around. Go down. Grab a next one. Let's see if I can grab the next one. Hold on. Let's go in a position. These little. All right, we'll grab this one here. Have this one. Come up, go the other way, like so, make it big, like so, and then you can move this down the other way. Like I said, if you want to, you can also change sizes of this. You can make it bigger, smaller, whatever way you want to. Uh, you are the designers. Go crazy. And then we're just going to make that big. And then we're going to duplicate that page. What we're going to do is go ahead and reduce this one back down. I'm going to straighten it up just for, for show, just because, just because. And then I'm going to grab my last one, which is over here. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to spin it the opposite way. I'm going to make it big. Bigger, bigger. And then if you want to, you can move your circle in the center. You can move it back up top. You can play with it as much as you want to. And let's see, let's put it on that angle there and just go like so. Some of these are going to be bigger than the others, but we're just doing for a fun effect. So the other thing I did after that, so now I got all my products out and it have come up. If you want to add text as you go, you can do the same thing as have these and have them drop in if you want to, or you can just have text fading in and out. That's up to you. 
So I'm going to duplicate my first page and then I'm going to bring it over to the end. And what I want to do with my first page is my text is going to be gone and I am going to do a little fun thing. I don't want this over here. This is going to be off. I'm going to take this and kind of center it. And then what I want to do is kind of make them look the same size almost or close to the same size. Now this is just a little thing I did personally. And then you can put one, two, three on there. And if you did do a background, I mean, you can do a background. This is just a very simple one. So what we're going to do, we have match and move. You're going to take your match and move, turn it all the way up, apply between all the pages, and then you're going to set your timing it's at 2.5 here. Let's see if we can get it down to 2. Oh, nope. 2.0. 2, 2.1. 2. We'll take 2.1. All right, what I'm going to do now, we're going to play it and see what it looks like. Hold on, let me put it up for you guys. Oh, not that big. Girl. Okay. So now what we're going to got, go here. There's one, two, three, and then your products come up at the end. And that's as simple as it wants to. And it, and if you want to add more circles, you can add more circles and do like two color blobs. You can use circles, squares, triangles, whatever you want to use. Just to, it's a simple little morph technique to just kind of pop your presentation or your products out. Really simple. And you can actually do it on a smaller scale for a short or something. If you really want to do that, you can also do the same kind of thing. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's how you do that. I'm Michelle. Thank you, thank you for coming by and watching my tutorial. I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye, y'all.